What's up guys? I want to throw a short video together real quick for you on uh, how to make your own vacuum block or sensor block. So I switch over to that share intercooler intake and uh, I found myself very limited to vacuum ports. So I went to looking for a, you know, a vacuum manifold and uh, I was kind of shocked to find that they're about $40 for one port, $50 for several ports or multi-port. So I uh, went by the local uh, metal store and got a piece of one inch aluminum stock, just one inch square. And uh, all you need is a couple basic tools, you know, some kind of saw, a drill and a tap. Uh, you know, you could get a lot more precision with like a drill press or something, but I just use a little vise here. That's why my fittings aren't probably aren't exactly square. But uh, so something like this, you know, with a sensor in it could be for anything such as uh, manifold air pressure or in this case, this would be transmission line, uh, the CO2 or, or vacuum hose that I have screwed in here is just something I threw in there real quick. But uh, for your transmission sensor, you don't want to mount the sensor right in the side of the transmission supposedly the heat and the vibration is bad for sensors so you would want to run a line out of your transmission to a manifold you know two foot away or so on your firewall something like that or up under the chassis and then you screw your sensor into it um, so that would be good for a sensor now, I imagine you could do the same thing with fuel pressures um, nitrous whatever anything that's eighth inch NPT but uh yeah, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to do a multi-port like this one, just make sure that you offset the hole to the bottom side. That way, when you tap down into it, you don't bottom out. If you if you drill it right in the center, depending on what kind of tap you have, I, I know they sell uh, special taps that are, I guess, like shallow, and it'll cut the threads at the very tip of it, but this one's tapered, so... You have to go pretty deep to be able to get whatever plug or uh, fitting you're trying to screw in there. You need it to cut pretty deep to grab hold to the threads. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd show a quick video on this. Um, basically, you just have to ask yourself, you know, are you worth $40 an hour? Because that's about how long it takes to make one of these. Um, you know, if you bought one, be $40. And then, of course, the... Uh, carrier service they're going to get their tax i guess shipping uh shipping a manifold block about like this is probably about 15 dollars now so like i said it's, it's pretty pretty simple i didn't do a step-by-step -step showing the cutting and the drilling and the tapping it, it's pretty self-explanatory um i don't even have like a npt uh tap set i just uh throw a 10 millimeter 12 point and it, it's a little loose but it gets the job done so you know, it'd be pretty nice when you get it mounted up somewhere like that. Because right now, this is the only line that's coming out of the manifold. So this would run into one side, and then one will go out to like the boost reference regulator. Um, this one here could go to the blow off valve. Um, you know, pretty much anything you need it to go to. So like I said, short video, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.